for Nigeria and Janet, the captain for Uganda. The umpire at Afuzwa, the, our match official is ready to conduct the toss. Heads is the call and tails is on top. Uh, Favor, you've won the toss. What are you going to be doing first? Why well, have you chosen field first in this match? So, we just want to try and bring them into bat and see if we can contain them under a number of runs that we can chase as batters. And with the way the wicket is playing this morning on the field, I feel freedom will be in our favor. Thank you so much and all the best. Jeanette, the last time you faced off against Nigeria, you batted first and you didn't win the game. What is the plan today? Uh, I think that we're going to just try and uh, stick to our basics. Uh, we had a very good day yesterday and I hope that the batters will bring in you know, their uh, A game uh, to try and set a score that we can defend. But Jeanette, if you're doing the result, what are you going to do? Um, I think that um, uh, the uh, favours uh, decision to bowl is a good one and I, I would have also taken the ball but uh, regardless, at the end of the day, uh, one captain wins the toss so um, I don't mind coming in to you know, try and put up a good score. Yeah. That is the captain for Uganda. Ladies and gentlemen, it is Nigeria up against Uganda. Nigeria has won the toss and they have opted to bat first. I beg your pardon. 338 runs. Into the pads and she's off the marker. Off and running is a team Uganda. Can I see of that on driver? From the captain, of course, Janet Babazi. She is in fine touch yesterday. She had a very good knock of 20 off 20. She has a third man and a long gone, lucky fighty. Plays it on the back foot. Uh, Miss Phil there at point. Uh, the ball races away to the boundary. First boundary count. Shot. Played powerfully. Corrects two of those uh, two fielders and the ball races away to the boundary. She gets off the mark. Take the outside edge, uh, there's protection there in the deep, but that man who can only kick it over the ropes, uh, make that the third boundary. Shot ball cut away powerfully between those two fielders. Uh, they have not learned the album to ball a little bit straighter. There you go, loud appeal this time round. Janet has to leave another day. We'll have to wait for that on the replay. But what a comeback, what a ball there from the youngster. That is the delivery that anointed needs to be giving in. Put everything in the money, but look at that. Paul just comes in, Janet Mbaba's beaten, but looks like that was missing. To the pass, flicked away. That will dress away. Put ball in the air and catch is taken. Make that three times. She has picked up the wicket of Janet Mbaba's. He is a young, peculiar aboya. And a catch, beautiful looking catch that by the point fielder. Powerful hit once again, goes down the ground. And beautiful looking shot that is. Pops it in the air. Catch has been taken. That is indeed to what you've walked upon. Yeah. Catch has been taken. That didn't need to move an inch to complete that catch. And they couldn't show that they are coming back and getting for Nigeria the third wicket. But look at that celebration there. And they show her very, very happy that uh, she's gotten. Again, playing against the spin this time beats the fielder it will be a out of this middle order flight it tossed up and easy as you like it it was a bait and she went a beautiful looking shot onto the leg side this time it will go the distance and a boundary it will be i believe they give us a very good game Oh, clubbed onto the leg side. She's chosen her area and a max. Again, clubbed onto the leg side. And catch has been taken. Identical. Ten of eight. We got a wicket. Loud appeal. A little bit too close eight there. I would like to see that on the reading. Deliveries towards you. 
knocks her over. What a delivery. Loud appeal. And the finger has been raised. Struggle is on. Some thigh pad to it as it brushes and goes down the leg. This runs will be considered as buys. A direct hit and the finger has been raised. Long levers but not. Pull and goes down on one knee, plays it. In the air for quite some time, uh, pull with power as the ball races away to the boundary. Seems to be connecting that one onto the offside for being offered by Team Nigeria as well. And knocks her over with that delivery. All the opposition sides that she played. Very, very nice and quick looking delivery. And all that teasing length. That's there. And knocks her over with a first delivery. Captain Konsi. Once again. And louder bill and two in two. She's got her second wicket. and that will be the first boundary signs of aggression it's the fielders this time around beautiful looking shot and it will be a boundary yes I'll see they've got to do this loud appeal and the finger has been raised just one fielder outside the circle the rest were inside Oh, what a delivery and knocks her over. Another wicket. Like the delivery and the message has been cleared. This time it's the keeper's gloves. It will race away all the way to the boundary road. Next week, my group will be going here for Uganda. Hard hands this time and a boundary. And she's running hard for a double. Loud appeal. And the skipper handing her the ball. Showing her faith in keep it away from middle stump and full. Oh, a wicket. Had two legal deliveries. Oh, gets a top edge. Who's getting underneath that? And catch has been taken successfully. Celebrations there. You can see easy as you like it. She catches it multiple. Loud, loud appeal and the finger has been raised. What an over this has been. Five. But she did so with an economy of 3.75. What a hit. It is going to stay hit indeed. Chase it in vain from the youngster.